Oh yeah, check her out. Mm -mm -mm. Let's give you guys a little cold start. guys so first off I want to thank the uh, Wolfpack Racing Group and uh, Ammo for inviting me out on Friday for Wolfpack Racing uh, it was a lot of fun I'll definitely go back out and do it again at some point uh, and I'll probably make it a continuous thing and then uh, we'll do like a little Wolfpack Racing series and record everything that goes on through uh, all the legs but uh, that being said, today is Monday, and that means it is five things list Mondays. So, this is going to be five hot hatchbacks. So, starting with the list, we'll start with something American, although I know it's not too many people's favorites, but that is Ford Focus ST. Now, the ST is basically one of their performance lines and it's probably going to be one of their few lines that are going to be left unfortunately but uh the Ford Focus ST is going to be one of the few cars that Ford's going to have but it's turbocharged and it's uh, got, it's got quite a bit of power, power behind it. Uh, it definitely gives the RT a run for its money and it just depends on uh, what's done to it. So, number two on a list is a Civic Type R. Now these guys are getting to be really popular at least around uh, my area. I live in basically Honda country because uh, Marysville, Ohio, um, you have the Honda plant out there and it's, uh, they make the Acura TLX and the Accord and the Civic. So this is Honda land over here. But anyway, the, uh, the Civic Type R is another hatchback, of course, and it's turbocharged, and it has, it's basically on par with the Ford RS. So it's just as fast, it is, I think it's a bit more unique than the RS or the ST. I mean, even though we see Civics everywhere, but, uh, the Type R is rare, rarer, I wish you should say. And it's only been out for a little while. But it's a hot hatchback. Uh, next on the list, popular with the European crowd, is the uh, V-Dub Golf GTI. Now these are cool little cars. I wouldn't mind owning one of these at some point in my life because I, I'm not fond of hatchbacks, but that's probably one of the few that I would actually probably own, willingly own. Number four would be a Chevy Cruze SS. So they just recently made these uh, hatchbacks and I haven't been able to do too much research into them, but I kind of like the looks of them. Uh, it wouldn't be my first uh, pick because I'm not that much of a fan with Chevy products unless it's the Camaro or the Silverado. But anyway, my number one pick would be number five off of this list. And that's the Dodge Magnum. Specifically, the Magnum SRT. It has the 6.1 liter Hemi. Uh, makes 425 horsepower. Rear wheel drive. All American. I don't know if you could really call it a hatchback, but it has a hatch, and I'm calling it a hatchback, so I'm including it in this list. 
It's basically a, a station wagon, but you know, you could call those other hatchbacks station wagons if you wanted. But in my opinion, it's a hot hatchback, and I would probably buy that one first out of all those. But anyways, guys, have a good one. I remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.